Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Knight. I'm the president of the Armory Guards Living History Association. And today we're here representing the 6th and 9th Tennessee Consolidated Regiment of Confederate Infantry, part of Maney's Tennessee Brigade and Cheatham's Division of the Army of Tennessee, which was the Confederate Army in this theater of operations during the American Civil War in the Atlantic Campaign. Maney's Brigade was occupying the works directly behind you at the hottest part of the fighting along the, the Kennesaw Battlefield line, which is called the Dead Angle. They were actually faced the way that you're facing. They were facing due west, uh, back in the angle. The Union soldiers were attacking up this field, uphill, against an entrenched Confederate position. Uh, when you think about it and are actually here, you can understand how the Union assault, which was repulsed by the Tennesseans and by other Confederate regiments here, uh, how the Union took 3,000 casualties in a matter of hours here. Uh, some would even have called it butchery at the time. But today what we're here to, uh, to demonstrate to you is a period musketry drill. What we'll do is show you how Confederate and Union soldiers learn to load and fire their rifled muskets. These are muskets that are generally 58 caliber. They're single shot loaded one at a time. After you pull the trigger and it goes bang, you have to reload. And uh, because of the weather, we're going to try to make this as short and sweet as possible. But uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is loading in nine times. That's how soldiers learn how to load their weapons at the camp of instruction, or what we might now call boot camp. This is nine individual steps, any one of which is omitted and the weapon won't fire. So you have to remember these nine steps. Now, in a battle situation, their officer is not going to order each one of those nine steps. He's going to uh, just tell you to load and fire. So without further ado, load and nine times. Load. My name is Paul Jan, I'm also with the Armored Guard. Captain Knight is going to have the men loading nine times. Air cartridge. Process they were taught in a camp of instruction. When they go down the hill, you'll see them do this very quickly. Draw a rammer. Ram cartridge. Off, basically Shoulder, what the men are equipped with, depending on their cartridge right, box, 40 right. to 50 cartridges with a main of paper or linen. They would have inside them black powder and also a mini ball, which I'll show you in a second, which is a conical ball, depending on the weapon. These were paper or linen right, were uh, dipped in beeswax to make them waterproof. In the early part of the war, when these came from England, they were made by young women in cottage industry. They have lead conical ball inside them. As he fires the company now, what I'm going to do is get behind you so you can see and explain what they're doing. Now you have to be really imaginative. If you imagine by this time in the war, 600 men firing at that one time, that's a company fire, volley by a company. So imagine those all across this field from up there, company volley. The only problem is you're now vulnerable. So what the captain could do in the field, he could alter his type of fire to make the fire different, a different technique of fire based on what he has in front of him. So now he's firing by rank. The front line is called the front rank. Now the front rank will quickly load. And if they don't roll out quickly enough, the captain and the first sergeant there will be yelling. Come on, boys, load, quickly, quickly, boys. Look at that, perfect timing. <laughs> He's going to have the rear rank load, and that would continue. Now, if you think of a line of 600 or so men stretched out in front of you, imagine that type of a fire. You've now got alternating fire across the whole field together. Now, the lines going horizontally across are called ranks. Front rank, rear rank, or second rank. The men standing in front of each other, rear rank, front rank, those are called files. 
This, this technique is firing by file. And what you do with this, remember 600 men? They'll start from the left and go to the right. Normally what they would do without command would be continue firing a will, independent fire. So you get a ton of lead going down range. Let's give the army guards a hand as they leave.